Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Sorcerer's Arena video. Now a lot of you were asking me to do some more of these and I wanted to talk about one of the kind of more important things on this game because if you are new to the channel smash that subscribe button guys and hit that like button and see if we can get up to 50 likes in this video. Now I wanted to talk about the daily quests guys and how easy they are because now I've played this game on and off for a while so I played it when it first came out and the daily quests were actually really difficult so they were quite hard to get through and it was very it was, it, it, it was quite a struggle but now they've they've made it a little bit easier now to go through all these daily missions I wanted to show you how quick you can actually go through these missions now so what I wanted to look at is um, how important it actually is so I'm just claim my reward here Cool, let's see what we got. Captain Hook and Jack Sparrow. Now, um, yeah, I want to talk about how easy it actually is now. And also, it's, it's very important every day that you claim all of, all of your bits here. Uh, but that doesn't really matter too much. Delete that off. Get your bits. Get your diamonds. Lovely. So, it is quite important to try and move up in the Grand Arena as far as you can because you actually do get some decent drops. So, level up a character. Equ equipped gear onto a character, complete some elite battles, complete hero campaign, open a pack from the store, complete grand arena battles, so that's only one, complete campaign battles is five, villain battles, uh, purchase an item from exchange shop, grand campaign battles, so it is relatively easy to actually unlock all of this stuff without even thinking about it so I can kind of show you the route I take I always kind of just go here I start from the left and I work my way down so the grand arena battles aren't anything too difficult at the moment because I, I'm pushing back to where I was where when I was ranked so it's it's taken me a little while to get back but um, I'm getting there so what I'm gonna try and do straight away is eliminate syndrome because he does a lot of damage Let's, let's keep, oh, try and keep us healed up a little bit. Get the slam. Bang. Stunned. Get the apple down again. Just to try and keep some damage just constantly going in the loop, 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 loop. And then I'm going to use the shot again like that. Bang. Because that just does so much damage. Let's get two of her in. I'm not sure what keeps happening with these pumpkins, eh? Oh, they just knocked him out of his move. Let's try and get Gaston healed a little bit. Well, I think I need to level up Syndrome, actually, guys. And I can get rid of Gaston and have Syndrome in. Do that because that's going to hit the thing there and stun it off. We can get him healed again, keep him alive a little bit longer. That's quite the important thing. You want to try and keep everybody. And I've got two people shooting. Oh, I purged the. Um... Yes! Absolutely rinsed through that then. Gaston! Gaston is pretty decent. So now I'm going to move up. So you want to just get up there slowly so you're getting more diamonds every day. It's kind of one of the most important things that you can actually do. Then you've got to do one Tower of Endurance battle, which is once again is quite easy. I, I might actually stop what I'm doing a little bit and upgrade Syndrome and focus mainly on Syndrome for my upgrading for a little bit, guys. So it's just because of how ridiculous Syndrome's ball move is. Oh, that little guy's heal. Bang. Yeah, get rid of that guy. He had some bare health on him. That little guy as well, I haven't seen him before. 
So then we can obviously do that move. Then we can drop an apple there. Ah, oh, Buzz's combo is just so good. Bang. And this move as well. That doesn't do as much damage as it used to do. Yeah, there we go. And that'll be one more towards the daily challenge, guys. And then obviously you start to get the bits to help you as well. So it is worthwhile. Sh Maybe even if you just clear one a day, guys. If you do the daily mission, um, it, is, it is always useful. And you get XP, so I need to make sure I do all of my, um, all the gold missions now. Because that's the most important thing, I just need so much gold, like it's actually unreal. We've got limited time events as well guys, but um, I'm not going to worry about those at the moment for this video. So those are those three done. And then, now you can kind of go through here and, and do some level leveling up and stuff. So immediately, um, I need to level her up anyway. And then I, I like to go into here and I'll use all, I'll, I always buy some more of these as well. So I'll always buy some and I'll request some as well. So then I'll auto win these to the max to get loads of shards for her. So I've got six more there. That's fine. And that gives me loads of money as well. And that completes one mission. Then there's a mission to equip um, stuff onto a character. So I always like to do Syndrome as he's the character I'm working on at the moment. But I'll do one a day just to get towards my daily mission. And then um, those can just be left for now. Then I'll back out and go into the store. And then it's important that you go into the free area and you open up all of these. In 35 seconds I can up, I can open up my other pack as well. So that's not too bad. Then open up these. Lovely. I said in 20 seconds I can open that. But that does my mission there. And then we need to go into the Heroes and Villains campaign. So what I like to do here is just do some Elite stages. And then that wipes both. So that does three of those, and I'll always do the Syndrome one as well, like that. And then I'll go off into Villains. So I've already done the Grand Campaign ones, and I'll do the same thing, where I'll smash out some of their, um, some of the Elite Battles in here. Like that, lovely. And then you need to do a PvP battle as well. Hopefully if I finish this one, I can open up one of the Halloween packs as well. So, um... Let's do that for now. I do want to upgrade Syndrome, so I've basically just got a full-out team of attack. But um, I do try and like to have one of each colour, because obviously that does allow for better attack and for a better spread against everyone. So let's see what we can do here. Ooh, this one should be quite good. I don't... And also, it annoys me you can't speed this up. Use that on him. Drain. He is, he is pretty overpowered, Syndrome. I right, get some heals on him. So now, uh, let's get two Syndromes in. See, that was good, because that made her waste her special there. Why is no one attacking? Go and drop the ball on my head. Bang. Bang. Yes, I got the laser just before he died. Well, I think we might have a stun there as well. It's going to be a pumpkin. Yeah. It's nice. I don't know if there are live PvP battles like they say, guys. I can open up a pack here as well. Yeah, let's go, boys. Oh, you got both cards now as well. Oh, he looks so cool, that guy. See, so the good thing on the PV passes is there's no limit to playing them. Now I can claim all of this, which just gives me loads of XP and money and stuff like that. Now, the only one I didn't do was purchase stuff in the exchange shop. So you can see, guys, within, what, um, just under 10 minutes, I've done every single mission. You know, that's why I was saying it, it is quite important that you... You do get through these every single day. 
I always just tend to buy the stuff I don't have much of. Um, so what what do I need a lot of? I need a lot of those. I need quite a few of these. So I will buy a few of these just to keep it... Um, just to allow me to be able to keep pushing through. I need some more of those. So it's always just about getting the stuff which is low, guys. Um, I don't really need everything in there. I'll do the same in here. So I've got loads of these badges. So just keep a check on anything which is rather low. That's all good. And then in here, I'm just buying these because my top characters need them. So I'm just going through those. Cool. Lovely. And then that's all of my missions completed. And I get to claim that, which gives me a point. And every five points you get now, guys, you can open up these special chests. So it's all quite important. Well, obviously, as you're doing all of this stuff, you do tend to fly up the um, the battle pass as well. But just like that, guys, that's done. That's the missions done. Um, quite easily as well. So I just wanted to cover the, the daily missions and how important they are on this one, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, smash that like and subscribe button, guys. Press that join button to help support the channel as well, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one.